Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to learn the importance of const variable in C language. Let's get started. So const, volatile etc are also called as type qualifiers in C language. Sorry, type qualifiers in C language. So most often there are three types of qualifiers available in C language. One is the size qualifiers. Sign qualifiers and finally we are having type qualifiers. So let me just explain you all these things as an overview and then we will go for type qualifiers and then we will try to understand about const type qualifier particularly. So first and foremost qualifier is the size qualifier. So for example when I write like int of a and then when I try to print the size of this particular variable a right over here the compilation is successful when I move to the debug view you can see the size is 4 so the size of int variable or data type is 4 in this compiler so it is showing like 4. So size qualifier is some qualifiers which will help us to reduce or alter the size of the variable. For example when I try to write like the same declaration and definition to be sort int of a. So this sort is a size qualifier for this data type int. So when I write like this you can see the size is reduced to 2 and when I write like long int a I will get 4. So the maximum size is 4 that's why whatever the qualifier that you give right over here I will be getting 4. So when I provide sort right over here I will be getting a reduced version of the int variable which will be of 2 bytes. So these are called size qualifiers which will alter the size of the data type available in the program. So the next qualifiers is sign qualifiers. So this particular sign qualifiers will help us to alter between signs of the number stored in the data type. So when I write like the same example int of a this particular variable is capable of storing 16 bits of data that is between minus 32768 to 32767. So this is the minimum negative number that can be stored in this variable and this is the maximum number that can be stored in this variable that is the maximum positive number. So when I don't want this particular negative sequence of numbers to be stored in this variable a what I can do is I can just write like unsigned int of a which will be neglecting this negative part and now I will be able to store numbers between 0 to 65535 in this particular variable a. So the negative sign numbers will be neglected whenever you provide the sign qualifier unsigned in front of the variable declaration that is the in front of data type declaration. So even if you leave this to be ideal like this, it is a kind of like saying signed int of a. Even if you are not providing this name signed, it will be taking it as signed and this will be the range of this int. But if you require an unsigned version of the variable, you just want to provide the unsigned keyword in front of the data type declaration and definition. So these are called sign qualifiers.
and coming to the type qualifiers so these are a kind of special attributes or features addition to a particular data type that is already available in c so that is called a type qualifier it is a kind of saying that it will be adding a special feature to the data type that is already available in c so there are two major type qualifiers one is the const and another one is volatile which will be most oftenly used in our embedded applications as well as in many of the programs that uses c language so particularly let us try to see this const keyword so let me just declare like int of a is equal to 5 and a is equal to 7 right over here now i am just printing the a value right over here when i compile this and when i run this you can see i will get a is equal to 7 printed in the debug vivo window so what i have done right over here is i have just declared a variable and i have initialized the value to be 5 and i have altered the same variable value to be 7 right over here and i have printed it right over here in this print of statement but what if you don't want this particular variable value to be changed throughout the lifetime of the program even by mistake so that can be neglected that is the change or effect on the variable can be neglected by declaring that particular variable as the const type i am just going to come under this so whenever i declare and define like this const int of a is equal to 5 we are just telling the compiler that this variable int a is a type qualified version of const type which means this variable should not be changed in any means throughout the lifetime of the program so that is why i am getting an error right over here you can see cannot assign to variable a with const qualified type const int so you cannot change like this in your program whenever you are declaring and defining a particular variable as const type so this is the important feature of const type qualifier which helps us to avoid writing to a fixed variables whose values should not be changed so these const keywords are most useful in applications like where you want to store a particular parameter values in variables and then you want to reuse those parameter values throughout your program so in such a case you should not be changing that particular parameter value in any means if in case you are changing that it will cause many problems in the application program so in such a cases you can use this const keyword for avoiding the effect of change in that particular variable so this is the main application and usage of const type qualifier in c language so by using this const type qualifier in front of a variable declaration and definition in front of a particular data type you can avoid the effect of change of value in that particular variable so i hope you learned the importance of const keyword in this video see you in the next video thanks for watching